Hi, I'm Dog. Welcome back to, uh, well, welcome back to something. <laughs> this is, what is it? What are you doing, Dog? Dwarf Fortress. This is Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress. Welcome to Village Zumtergegen. We call it Anvil Fly. We have 54 population. We have stuff. We've been trading for stuff. We have drink. We have food. We got seeds. We got animals. So it seems like every year I try to um, make a good start at Dwarf Fortress. And about this time of year. And I, I must have been trying this for. Real Peter Pur. I must have been trying this for, Jimmy can tell you, four years or longer uh, to get into this dwarf. I never have, but this year, I just, you know, at some point, I got to looking and I thought, you know, dog, this is a, this is a keyboard type of a game. You can put those old VI Unix mode skills to use and have some fun. And so I kind of, um, I pretty much just sat down with it, listened to some Let's Plays, and uh, and kind of soldiered on. You know, the thing that finally got me to do this was I uh, read something that um, it might take 20 uh, fortresses before you start to get a reasonable understanding of the de depth and complexity of the game. And um, you want to go out? You need to go outside, pup? No? Okay. Jimmy, I don't know what's up with her. She uh, she barfed today. Here I am going down down towards the center. Um, this is the fortress. This is the current state of it. Um, and um, yeah, I, this is uh, I did not record any footage before now. Wasn't really planning to. Um, but I thought, what the heck, you know? I'm not an expert in dwarf fortress. I'm barely, like I said, I'm barely figuring this out. So. Um, if I don't disable the comments, I just, uh, I know I've got a lot to learn, so, um, this is not really a tutorial or anything like that, I just wanted to show, show some friends and family what I've been up to here this holiday season. Uh, first off, I embarked, I still haven't mastered how to choose, um, location when I embark, <clears throat> I'm not sure which keys I'm using, but anyway, I ended up in this weird citrus biome. There's limes and oranges and citron trees and stuff like that. And <clears throat> there just were not a whole lot of trees. The big green, these big masses, this is the top of a tree. Uh, whoops. There's the base, there's the trunk of it. You see the greenery around it. Um, so, and you know, there's not a whole lot of them. And so it, one of my struggles to, to begin with was just getting enough logs to make anything. So, um, you've got, um, we've got some, um, some plots out here, some stockpiles out here. Um, a couple of farms, this farm was way too big, way too big. I'm thinking I should probably just go ahead and you know what, let's go ahead and, um, that's not the way you do it, farm, build, Go ahead and remove that. Get space to get a few ticks going. So, um, yeah, so we've had theoretically a couple of invasions, but nothing has ever gotten to us yet. Not that I know of. Um, we've had a few merchants, and we've kind of been passed up by a few merchants, but I finally got into trading. I finally understand the trading somewhat now. Uh, probably laughable but I did not know 
that somebody had to have an appraised skill. And all I could see was the weight of the item, so I was trading blind the first caravan or two. Uh, it was only in this last caravan that I finally realized I needed somebody with an appraisal skill. And um, suddenly uh, that person, um, that dwarf, you know, was giving me relative valuation, so, so I, had, I had a basis to work from. Uh, teeny tiny bedrooms. <laughs> we started off, I think, with 11, seven dwarfs, and then 11, and then it's now up to 54, and I can hardly carve out bedrooms fast enough. Here are um, my latest default bedrooms. Looks kind of like a hotel, doesn't it? Uh, I'm carving out more rooms here with larger rooms for nobles and uh, officers. So that's what's going on in this level. This is purely a residential level. Uh, you can see people coming. Here's a statue right here. This is a, um, I guess you call it a statue garden. And the dwarves will come down here and just hang out because, you know, it's pretty chill to be down here. Not all these bedrooms are taken, and I wonder if I've got doors yet. Uh, I do have doors. Okay, so let's. Um, one chalk door. This uh, area we're in right now, we're in um, clay. Sand, actually. This is sand, I think. Yeah. But uh, there's chalk over here. And uh, this is a re really rich. This is a very rich um, uh, see here, slate. The rock is rich. There's gold nuggets uh, in them are rocks. And let's see right here. Uh, smoky quartz cluster. Smoky quartz. This um, gold nuggets. I gotta trade these gold nuggets and they weigh like to a ton apiece, so huge rocks full of gold nuggets, and I guess they need to be worked before they can be traded. I set this up, I was doing a lot of um, stone stockpiling, and for whatever reason the gold uh, nuggets get stuck with the stone. Uh, you know what, I haven't even made my first wall yet, and I don't even know how to do it, so <laughs> that's that'll be a new thing to do. Got some cut gems here. My jeweler's been working on those. Uh, cage. Uh, so I've, I've uh, dressed out some of this, smoothed out some of this wall. Um, keep some of these guys a little bit busy. And uh, I started off, I embarked with only one miner, and he's carried this whole load by himself the whole time. So we we'll just work around his schedule. Um, let's see. Wink. And <clears throat> um, I had a shortage of logs for a long time, and um, they finally started going out and getting them. For whatever reason, the dwarfs weren't picking them up. I'm not sure exactly what I did, but um, started assigning more storage, and suddenly the logs started showing up. I, for a long time, I couldn't create any beds. These little uh, zeros with the hash mark through them are beds. This is the default texture pack. Um, I thought, why not just, and actually I'm playing with no, uh, I'm not playing with dwarf hack or uh, dwarf therapist. I'm not playing with the lazy noob pack. This is the very latest version of um, dwarf fortress. And um, I'm wondering, let's see, how do I know what version I'm playing? I don't know, but this is, we're in the second summer or the third summer. I'm happy about that. Just happy to have survived. Uh, anything on the reports? Some pangolins. Uh, that's really the only fighting we've had, the pangolins. We've had uh, a couple of dwarves um, who built legendary items. They went into a, the first one went into a fey mood, and which is the mildest of the moods, and um, created a, nice <laughs> coffin. I'll show you that in a second. And the second one went into a weird mood, strange mood, and re withdrew from society. And I, I was worried, but 
Um, but this, this dwarf Aiden Asteraden created a native gold scepter named Mantle Nemar. So, I thought that was fascinating. Um, let's see. Page 4 or 4. I don't know how to go. Do I page up to earlier pages? Page up? Yeah. Page up and page up. Uh, I guess these are color coded to some extent. The red is an alert or an alarm, but uh, you know they're not a. It's not a big deal. The blue are the caravans, the traders that come in. Green animals have grown up. Uh, yellow is striking gems. So let's see. Let's. What, what was our first day? Nothing to catch in the northwestern swamps. One of our fisher dwarfs is out fishing. Nineteenth granite. 250 and it is currently 21st Malachite 251. Id Amkatten, mysterious construction. Kieran Linham, a chalk coffin. <laughs> Ooh, fine. Now. So yeah, uh, this is this is just um, for the first time. I feel like I've gained enough competence, competency at this. Everybody's in the dining hall here, eating, drinking, being merry. We got plenty of drink, 100 drink, 500 food. Need to make sure, you know, some, in some respects, Dwarf Fortress is a sort of a game of just uh, keep the plates all spinning, make sure they got enough food, enough drink, make sure everybody's got a place to sleep. Um, make sure your stockpiles are big enough. Make sure you got somebody cranking out stone mugs for trade. I do have somebody doing that, don't I? Rock mug. Somebody's doing it. Somebody come back here and do this. <clears throat> Make it high priority. Mason, somebody's here at the Mason. Well, maybe. Here's another statue I set as a um, uh, statue garden. So, Dwarfs just come here and hang out. They get happy hanging around good constructions and oh, our jeweler is out of stuff. So let's um, let's cut some smoky quartz. Um, ooh, native gold. Let's uh, encrust something with native ammo. Great. Uh, oops. Let's um, cut some more native gold and cut some more native gold. It's good to have uh, stuff to sell at the um, when the traders come in. So let's look at their artifacts right quick. The Holy Face, <laughs> Kirin Linen, the Holy Face, a chalk coffin. Let's uh, V to view that, or enter to view it. V description, chalk coffin. All craft dwarf, sh dwarf ship is of the highest quality, encircled with bands of cushioned chalk cavachons. On the item is an image of AC folded jointed when it counts. The turkey bone bound book in chalk. The holy face, what a great name for a coffin. And it's worth 7200 and dwarf bucks. Look at this one. Manthol Nemar, the Deviants of Paths, a native gold scepter, worth 99,600 dwarf bucks. Okay, I think the last time I checked, I can't trade artifacts. Drat, I don't know what to do with them yet. So, as you can see, this is a very modest, um, uh, here's the trading depot. Um, this is a very modest, effort here very modest fortress nothing we're not doing anything like, what make food people and make easy meal actually cancel make oops um, add fine meal and make it repeat okay he's still making beds that's probably okay you can see these beds are uh, stacking up, but we're going to need a whole bunch of them down in there. And uh, this guy should be making some tables and whatnot. Tables, 
doors, cabinets, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of uh, making these, um, oops, get out of there, just escape out of there, um, making all these larger rooms, um, put a, a table, a chair, or a throne as they call it, a um, weapons rack, an armor stand, and a um, closet, a cupboard, or whatever you call that. Uh, it basically gives the dwarves more flexibility and keeps them happy. The nobles keeps the nobles happy. The common dwarves are pretty happy just to stay in that bedroom. Although I'd like to get everybody a nice bedroom here shortly. And I wonder what my mining guy is doing. He certainly isn't mining, is he? This is the guy who's dressing the stone. He's actually carrying stone. Just put that up in here, dude. Are you going to carry this all the way around? Oh my goodness. I haven't finished off this area. This will be another couple of rooms. Yeah, this was a kind of a screw up. I screwed those rooms up. Um, got my counts off up in here. Uh, so, uh, what else? Man, it's a statue party. It's a rave up down there. Make sure my farm's going well up here. There's nothing's planted right there. Why isn't it? Uh, build, plot. Cave wheat, partially planted to cave wheat, partially planted in pigtails, partially planted in quarry bushes, plump pellets, different colors. Okay. The only thing we've got plenty of, and you can see this this one is fully um, plotted, is plump pellets. So. so this is this is an odd game. It's uh, there's a lot of micromanagement required. But the dwarves are also very autonomous. Um, they often won't do what you want them to do. What, what's going to do? But, and you can always snoop on them. See this very top two sentences, the very top paragraph in gray. This gives you a clue to the dwarf's mood. Uh, satisfied is good. I felt pleasure. They're a very fine statue. That's good. Satisfied after creating an artifact. Well, yeah. Uh, who is this? Oh, this is Aiden Osteratum. Aiden Alias, aka Aiden Burial Cloister. Frustrated concerning the scarcity of cages and chains, annoyed at the lack of dining tables. So I got to fix. I got it. These are. This gives me clues to what to work on. Um, the rest of this stuff, don't really know how to make of it. But these first two uh, lines are very important. That's why I need to make more dining tables and um, make some cages and chains for uh, uh, animal husbandry. But she's otherwise pretty happy with this light blue Sion color. Is she's happy with the office quarters. Um, she's got all this in her office. So, uh, in her, uh, sorry, in her bedroom. So, where's my mason, my miner at? Dig. Z, go to unit. Oh, here he is. Okay. He must have just got off break or something. Man, this dining room is getting crowded. We're going to have to make a bigger dining hall. I really didn't expect A, to survive this long, long enough for the, long enough to have a population explosion of dwarfs. So it's very much a, um, a trial, a test run fortress. 
Oops, that's a statue right there. That's a table, that's a throne or a chair. The U with a cap are um, storage buckets or baskets or something like that. That's a remains, it should have been. This little remains here, I don't know why it hasn't been carried off outside. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna go um, P wood. Well, I hope you guys have had a great holiday season and a, a good Christmas, good Thanksgiving before that, and a good New Year, uh, New Year's Eve. Very quiet here, just me and Jimmy Sue and. I had a good time with um, the family. Had a outstanding. Both Thanksgiving and Christmas were were great. Um, my two kids. Uh, everybody came over here uh, along, and my two kids both brought their significant others, and um, we were all over here for Thanksgiving. Um, everybody brought a little bit of something to eat, and um, basically, I just provided the place and found old uh, photo albums of, um, uh, you know, the kids when they were growing up, old family pictures, and uh, I don't know why, but it's really important during this time to, for me to, um, I don't know, I just, uh, it's important to feel connected to the past, maybe. Let's go ahead and dig this thing out here a little bit. D. D. That return, return, and dig that. Okay. By the way, we are at the right side of the map here. Um, the hillside, uh, my embark location is not the greatest, as you can see, because the wagon came right here. You okay? You need to go out. All right, Jimmy needs to go out. And I'm back. Wow, that's quite a quite a little sizable break there. I tell you, I've, uh, Jimmy is a little bit, did I miss something? Oh, Masterpiece Chalk Cabinet, nice. That was the guy, Id M. Catton. Uh, you see the next to last line? That was the guy who, um, or girl, uh, who um, uh, is our craft dwarf. And uh, made anyway, first made the first artifact. And what was the other one? Atis Lorbam Kib has become a herbalist. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, I tell you what, the winter months are tough for uh, for an old guy and his whole dog. Uh, Jimmy's had a lot of issues um, going bathroom inside the house uh, or tossing her cookies inside the house uh, we had an incident earlier today she made it to the back door and I was right behind her and she couldn't hold it no more and she uh, we had a big mess to clean up at the back door but it was on the old crappy carpet in the uh, computer room and we got it cleaned up in a hurry no, no real carpet pad underneath it well it's a big problem when it happens in the living room though Anyway, uh, so anytime she even seems that she needs to go out, I make a point to get her outside as soon as possible. So, Whew. okay, well, Thanksgiving was really nice. Um, yeah, the kids came over. Here's all that wood getting stockpiled. What's that G? What's that G? Let's go into K mode. Uh, a goss, a tame goss. That's a G for a goose. <laughs> nice, we got a goose. Duck, duck, goose. How is that in there? Hauling logs. Mebzuth Listreg, woodworker. Good for you, Mebzuth. So, of course, you see on the bottom right, on the right side of the tab window, you can one step this with the uh, uh, period. Kind of like the old game Life, you know? 
just one step in. Um, we did the same similar thing. Uh, so we all got together over here at Thanksgiving, and uh, Sarah reciprocated by um, having a Christmas get together at her house, and it was just decorated beautifully, looked wonderful, cozy and clean and inviting, and uh, again, both the kids and their significant others were there. Uh, so um, it was it was really nice. I really enjoyed it uh, quite a lot, and. Um, we had a, um, let me think, something came up and uh, I had the opportunity to invite everybody to come over here for a tween Christmas New Year's party and folks came over and um, uh, we had uh, chicken chili and, uh, oh, what did we just have? Seeking. Oh, we just had a we just had a childbirth. Do med. Do some mobile. Farmer has given birth to a boy. She cancels her job to go find the boy. <laughs> to go find the boy. Where did that boy go? I knew I birthed a boy around here somewhere. So resume. Nice. That's the second childbirth that I've noticed. Although we have several children. We have three children five children now wow two of them were born here three of them must have come in with um, migrants I'm hurt I've heard I've heard I'm heard I've heard that if you uh, make the caravans happy the word spreads fast and so your population goes up in a hurry so I don't know I think I just got lucky I think I, it could be partly that I was just giving stuff away practically for free because it had no idea what its value was, only its weight. That was, that was a problem. Farm's looking a lot better now. Yeah, those are statues. This is a statue garden up in here. Probably ought to remove that designation. Don't want dwarfs standing around trampling the grass. The plants. Uh, what else? Yeah, so we basically, since... Thanksgiving we had three get-togethers over uh, at uh, various places and I just genuinely enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I just really enjoyed it. Okay, here's that wood being stored. And uh, you can see people are busy. Probably everybody's out moving wood because we have almost no idlers. People are, if they don't have another job to do, They'll um, they'll go haul stuff back and back and under. We have look at these guys, man. Look at this. Oh, I had them cut wood from all over the place, and they just haven't had any place to store it. That's what the deal is. Wow, we're gonna have wood for many many days. Okay, let's go ahead and designate the stockpile here. W. Had some um, some stuff. Um, some little challenges here lately. Um, I inherited my daughter's car back. It's a 99 Honda Civic four-door. Uh, and um, she doesn't need it where she's at in Washington, D.C. Everything she needs to get to is there. It's available by metro or by bus. And it's really expensive to have a car in D.C. So um, she left it here. And I have been happily driving it as my commuter vehicle and the other day I went out to start it it wouldn't start I pulled the battery out took it up to O'Reilly had it checked it checked out fine and it's acting really weird and um, and I can't figure out it's, I can smell the fuel it's getting gas up in there so my first thought was fuel pump so I don't think it's the fuel pump it could possibly be a fuel filter problem it could be a ignition or starter problem and Anyway, just got to dive into it and see what I can figure out. Uh, but it's so bone-chillingly cold here that I'm uh, really reluctant to get out in the garage. It's in the teens uh, right now. It's, it's today and uh, yesterday. We've had a really chill wind. It's not blowing right now, so maybe things get a little bit warmer and I get, get out there and work on it. 
other than that, just having a, you know, just uh, doing the yoga thing. We had Vinyasa and Vino, uh, Vino last week uh, on I think the twenty third, day before Christmas Eve, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And went to yoga again last night, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Did not go to the gym today. I've kind of gotten into a little bit of a gym kick and I've been enjoying it quite a lot and um, very glad to be it's weird how deserted the gym got in the time between Thanksgiving and Christmas um, very deserted very few people in the gym I know that'll change um, starting tomorrow <laughs> but uh, starting actually well Saturday and um, so uh, I welcome it. more people to talk to and I've actually been going more to the gym than just yoga. I get there early, uh, and some days I go when there's no yoga, and I just get on the uh, the cardio. What do you call them? The um, not the stair steppers, but the uh, ellipticals. Get on the ellipticals and watch some football on the t- screen, or plug some music in, and just um, get a few minutes of a workout in. It's uh, so cold; I have a hard time getting out and walking in this bitter wind. So, anyway, um, other than that, doing well. Going to McDonald's a little bit too often and uh, <laughs> prepare fine meals. Okay, so we're out of stuff to cook. Not much game around here. My hunters don't find much. <laughs> Looks like we must have pretty much gotten our wood stockpile in order okay look at the beds beds we got plenty of beds let's um let's cancel the beds cancel current task yeah uh let's just make um i hate to make wooden doors but i can do that my uh, stone door guy doesn't seem to be doing the deal, so let's make um, let's just make some wooden doors and put those on repeat. Okay, and let's go down stairs. Oh yeah, man, this guy's a working dude right here. Give it up for him. Let's go put some beds and some doors. that up. There's little shortcuts that you get. Wow, look at all these beds. Bitter orange wood. Press the B key and boom, boom. B. Boom. B. B. Yeah, this would be a scintillating I'll pay here. B. Boom, boom. The whole time. As you'll see, the game pauses when you do this. Well, this is a really difficult thing to do uh man let's put you back here okay all right we got beds in those rooms wow we got lots of beds here now as soon as these beds get delivered um what is he carrying as soon as these beds get delivered, we'll designate the door. We'll des- designate the. Um, you have to place the bed and then designate the bedroom. That's our only door. What about do we have a, a cabinet? We do. Let's go ahead and place. cabinet. What about a chair? Do we have any chair? Yes, we do. We don't have any chair. What about a table? Boom. What about an armor stand? Don't I have one? Or a weapon rack? Don't I have one? Alright. 
I haven't yet figured out how to make iron ore or ingots or whatever they call them. It's on my list of to do. I do have a kind of a militia together, but um, you know, Canada created a masterpiece chalk armor stand. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I think one, two, three, four, five. This person, room five needs something. Let us call this a sheriff. Okay, so let's uh, actually. Oops, uh, rack. Oh, you just made an armor stand. Okay, maybe it has to reach a stockpile. the sand just disappears. Hmm. I really like that this, uh, I like the keyboard interface. It does remind me of the old Unix VI days slate. Where's the rest of my slate? Okay, there's a little bit more slate. Yeah. <laughs> so many more things i got to work on, but, uh, well, this has dragged on long enough. I just wanted to pop in and say hi. Still alive and kicking. And uh, fooling around with Dwarf Fortress. Alright. See you guys later.